With Christmas nearly upon us, friends and family are pouring into town, and if your house isn't ready for company, you're not alone. Though the holidays are always a big time for retailers, ABC7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom has a look at one other business that's seeing a holiday rush. Union Square is packed. The cash register is slammed. Traffic is a mess. But if you thought retail was the only business booming this holiday season, then you haven't met Alex Baker. Hi, Kim. Alex, we're five minutes. We're filming. Oh, hi. Oh, just, okay. Gotta go. Alex is the furniture repair guy. And in the countdown to Christmas, he's been getting a workout. I've been consistently doing in the five, six jobs a day, uh, which for me, it's a, it's a busy day. His company, Fiber Renew, fixes vinyl and leather, among other things. You can't be colorblind if you're doing this job. Just in time for the in-laws. We got my parents, my sister, uh, my husband's parents, and his, uh, his brothers as well. When you live in a house with kids, stains can come out of nowhere. This is my daughter, Olivia. She's one and a half, and she's very calm right now, but usually she's the one that loves to uh, decorate the furniture. With things like a ballpoint pen. So with the screams of children echoing in the background... <laughs> Alex goes to work. This is a minor repair. Alex says he's seen much worse this holiday season and not just from kids. Pets are the biggest culprit. Kids, you know, you can control your kids to some extent, but uh, pet damage on furniture is, is a big issue. Even bigger because so many people wait until the holidays to fix it. You see that a lot. And, you know, for me, it's much easier if we can catch it early. A cut in vinyl, especially, that can be left and that can rip right open. Never mind the fancy tools, a hair dryer is the last step in the process. Alex says there's no residue left behind. They can lick it, they can eat on it, and they do eat on it. And they'll mess it up again. Maybe they should learn how to fix it themselves. Do you want to do it? In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom. See any pin marks? Nope. Good stuff. ABC 7 News.